And then another thing we can do is a speed test. Uh, here this is a program called TP Test, and uh, basically it is a program that's created by the Consumer Protection uh, Agency here in Sweden. So for people who want to check out the speed of that their operator uh, is actually handing them out versus what they're paying for every month, they can use this program to qualify that link. So here I'm testing with uh, ISP and um, we're going to do a TCP and UDP uplink and downlink speed. This may take some time, so we'll pause for now. So now we've concluded the uh, speed test and you can see that uh, while we're driving we're switching from one cell site to another and um, what happens is during that transfer the speed may drop so what we see here on the TCP the send is 52 kilobits and the receive was 1 megabit whereas on the UDP it was a bit higher on the receive and a bit higher on the send so if, you, if we were fixed however the results would be different. You'd see about 3 megabits on the receive and about uh, 3 to 4 kilobits on the send. So it's pretty interesting. But the basic idea is that you can have some form of broadband in the car while you're driving. And I think that's a major plus. And in conclusion, the WG is a very good uh, means of distributing that access that's coming in from the mobile network to all the devices within the vehicle.